Hello. It's been a very long time since I've lived with my family. Welcome to a bonus re-vlog, by the way. Closer to a rage vlog at this point. I'm up here, by myself. Fan on. Window open. Fiery. Rage. Coursing through the veins that are in my body. Because, um, yeah. It's been so long that I forgot how to deal with the stupidity of family. No offence to my family. However, presently, whilst it would pain me in the long run, I would have... I would have... I can't even words. Derive? I think it is. Presently, I would derive great joy from getting crabs and uh, surgically opening their skull, just dropping them on their brain, and watching them die. Not the crabs, the family. Because uh, there's a few things in life that I can't stand, one of which is people going through my things, which has been done a lot. And I've only been here for four days. Another thing I can't stand is, uh, illogical things, inefficiency. My nan seems to have a, th have a thing for both of which, as does my granddad, who are what, the family that I'm living with. Example, uh, my granddad has bad feet, so he likes to roll them on a rollable thing, like a bottle which for some reason apparently needs to be a bottle of frozen water. Though any bottle that's full would be equally as uh, efficient for rolling. Maybe the fact it needs to be cold. Well, answer to that, rather than have to have a full frozen bottle, just have some frozen stuff, stick it inside when the thing's been in the fridge, or hasn't been in the fridge, just put frozen things in the bottle. It's got a large fucking opening. <sighs> cool it down, then it'll be cold and you can roll it. Um, more illogical things is when I was moving out. Was, uh, oh yeah, we're gonna hoover and polish the desk, even though the cleaners have to hoover and clean the desk anyway. Like, it's contractual obligation that they do that before the new people get there, so there's no point us doing it, because then it gets done twice. Yeah. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very angry at the moment. So I'm going to unpack my things up here, hopefully be left alone, and uh, calm down. Once I have unpacked my things, I'll have set up my things. Once I've set up my things, then I'm going to kill things. Not real things, of course, because I'd get in trouble for that. Admittedly, that is the only reason. Presently, I'd quite happily walk up to a stranger on the streets and impale their throat with something sharp. But, illegality and all that, I mean, it's immoral as well, but right now, really don't care. I mean, sure, as I said, in the long run, I probably would when I find out about the pain and anguish it caused that person's family. However, in the heat of the moment, right now, death. Pure, painful death. Or painless. Quick. Probably gory. Death. That's what I want to inflict. Did I ever tell anyone on here that I used to have anger problems? If I didn't, that'd be a good fun video. Yep. I'm not used to it. I mean, I still do. Just I can control it better now. If this had happened eight years ago, I probably would have flown off the handle. There'd be holes all over this ceiling from just where I would have smashed it. The doors would be caved in. I probably would have ended up jumping out the window, to be fair. Uh, but no, now I just internalize my hatred and anger and rage and fury, and wrath. So it all will build up and eventually I'll snap and the world will probably end, as will my life. Anyway, 
I'm going to get on because the more I talk about it, the longer it takes me to internalize it. I just figured my adoring fans, who most of which I know in real life, you probably want to know that, uh, yeah, I'm not quite as sane as I seem, and I know I don't seem very sane very often. I shall bid thee adieu. I will catch you cats on the floor.